23. What level am I? Tw I'm level 23. Above the highest level that you can get to by experience points. Actual max level is 25. Okay, so that's a Soul Rage Azudor. We know what to do with him. Who else is here, though? Okay. Just... Just that, uh, bonus boss. Oh, wait, no, that's not a Soul Rage Azudor. That is a, uh, Possessed Distan. That's why he, uh, didn't look like Soul Rage Azudor. And why he silences me. I was like, where did silence come from? He does seem to still be dark, though. Alright, got him. Easy S. Yes. I wonder if the battles only change every 10. I seem to remember actually hearing online that until you've beat 30, you can't get Eye of Murgato or Eye of Alagath. The eyes just don't come out. Oh, effects of status afflictions reduced? I want it. And save our coins for level ups. If I get another S, I might be able to double level up. Oh. I still have ice equipped? Yeah. I wanted to charge some mana and... This jerk. Alright, got him. 45 seconds. <laughs> I feel like Gilda's upgraded ice is way better than Gilda's upgraded... Not ice. Um... Plus 8 to all. Um... No, that's not quite what I wanted to say. Um, uh, upgraded dark. Yes. Maybe I should have upgraded fire or something. But in the main game, I've always gone upgraded dark. Hmm. These are up to 6%. Oh, man. I could actually use Soul Twister. It would kind of help in a few situations. Alright, just give me that exact fight again, please. Oh. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> it's awkward because Abigail is here. Oh, he's using lightning. Uh oh. Being frozen while Mana War is around would be really awful. Oh, I do periodically absorb a spell though. Okay. He's fiery. He's icy. Uh, I need mana. He's poisony. Ah. If only Abigail's stuff didn't get like multiple hits, because then the null shield could actually like prevent me from being frozen. Oh, nice! Just attack her. Thanks. Uh oh. The thing about the Mana War is, like, he deals a lot of damage. At least to me. Uh, okay. We dodged it. 
somehow. This arena isn't really built for him to do that attack. <laughs> yep, that was weird. Did like all the wrong things. I need Monomore to be lower, but like he keeps attacking Abigail. Which I'm pretty fine with. To be clear. Ow. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did I actually want equipped? This. Oh, get away! <laughs> I was out of skill cancels. Okay, dealt with... Is this gonna A rank? I would like that. Uh, and then I get repeatedly frozen, because I'm bad. I think maybe the secret is physical attacking if I want to actually deal damage to her. Nope. I actually thought this mode would take less time. Probably because I thought I wasn't going to get so far. Oh yeah, I can't actually level up. Let's just go. Maybe I'll get demons again. Well, there's one. I don't see what the other boss is. Oh, good. Demons. Ah! The vacuum effect. Don't want to go into that. Oh no. Ah! Oh. Uh, this is why I need to buy more skill cancels. No, oh, but my rank is, like, climbing rapidly. Okay. Oh. That is my combat rank was going back up. I don't know if I'll actually get an S this time. Alright, the fact that he calls in those helps. More to attack before the fight ends. Oh, but then I got hit, because I'm bad. <sighs> Alright. Well, there's an A. It'll let me level up again, at least. Or I could start trying to upgrade another Dark Soul. Or potions. Well, let's at least get one level up. Was there a skill I still wanted? Anywhere? Oh yeah, I was thinking of a Soul Twister, because it'll be huge. If we want to hit something, I can hit it. I'm level 27. Uh, I don't really need Mono Potions that badly. Hmm. Prevents cold damage, but does it prevent being frozen? Wait, what do you have? Yeah, I'll take double jump. I mean, I'll take quadruple jump. Alright, so we've got Raven. Oh, we've got him with it. Whatever, let's deal with the Raven first. We've already got ice selected. And then, uh, we fight this guy. Whoa! <laughs> that was weird. He, like, dashed forward and pushed me. I think this is actually more effective than casting the magic. Ow. Oh, but I... <laughs> Even though I'm considered to have enough to steal 10 per hit, I still can run out of magic physically attacking. Which doesn't use potions. I have to actually cast a spell, apparently. 
Wow, that time is generous. Ah, he refilled his shield at an awkward timing. Yeah, I was actually trying to use the Mana Potion. Uh, so I remember that Focus Mode is in this game. Let's, uh, get some mana. I think I might actually need that skill that, uh, randomly makes your physical attacks not cost anything. Because the higher level you are, the more your physical attacks cost. But then, like, I think if you have plenty of luck... Oh yeah, or I could just do this. Just spell him down. There we go. That's what I should have done. Nine ancient coins. I wonder if floor 30 is, like, always true anemone. Well, I've got Aerial Raid, just in case. Also, they probably wouldn't make you fight True Anemone in a room with those platforms. Maybe they would. Um... Yeah, Ancient One. Relic weapons have a chance to cost 0 MP on attack. Increases with luck. And I've got 16 luck at the moment. What else might I want? 50 HP doesn't seem too amazing. Covering HP doesn't seem too amazing. These don't seem too amazing. Yeah, I guess stuff in mystery. Sure. Recover MP on killing blow with a relic weapon. Because, you know, there are two things in the room. And if I use a physical attack on the first one, I could get 20% of my... That was a crystal over on the right. Who are we fighting? They haven't been giving Magus the crystal. Oh, the crystal makes it cold! Get rid of that! Oh, it's uh, actually just still cold. The poison generator was interfering with their uh, ability to do anything. <laughs> That's how big my soul twister is. Wait, why? Oh yeah, I'm taking damage because it's cold. So if I use this, I'll just steal it all back and it'll be fine. Oh, uh, that's less fine. Because, you know, this room's not actually made to dodge that attack. Maybe I should not jump up so high that so that he'll be less high. Oh, he's he's going after the skull enemies. Alright. That worked. Maybe I should destroy the poison generator just so that he stops going after the stuff up there. I can predict him better if he's only going after me. Or I can just kill him. Another S rank? Nine coins. Maybe I should start buying the, um... Ice resist elixir? 40 intelligence. Which, with this skill, gives 8 to all stats. Uh, yeah, let's get this. When I cast a spell, I'll get 25% of the MP cost back as HP. Floor 29, two floors left to get the unlocks. Although, it keeps going after that. Alright, got ice selected, that's fine. Oh, 
silenced. It's you. Whatever, at least it's not Abigail. Alright, so uh, I think this mode is fun, but not actually a good idea for a video. Well, maybe it is. Maybe this is super entertaining. And it's worth watching one and a half hours of content. <laughs> I'll probably split it up. Actually, I guess the thing to do would have been uh, not make this be my first time in the mode, so that I would actually know how long it would take. Alright, uh, poison, that's right. Without the, uh, room that shoots at you, this is not gonna be a big deal. So that's the annoying thing. Why does my combat rate say 100%? I, I've been hit, right? Yeah, of course I have. I've been silenced. This battle. <laughs> I love how big that is. Also, I can uh, add more damage by doing this than, um, attacking. Oh! I bet the reason souls are placed in your inventory is that everybody gets the same items as they advance in floor, and somebody else has a skill. Nice! Got the Holy Diver and the achievement. Uh, somebody else probably has a skill that interacts with souls. In fact, I think, um, Vladin does. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Uh, do I have the armor here? I do. What's it do? Gain special powers based off your primary attribute. And I have a lot of intelligence, so it gives me... Wouldn't I just be immune to damage? Oh no, because enemies will have armor ruin and spell ruin. Whatever. Yeah, I have so much intelligence, though, that it gives so much stuff. I'm just seeing if any of the neutral smiths can work on the Holy Diver now that I have it. You already had four slots there. Alright, well, let's try this out. Maybe my lack of mana shield will get me killed somehow. Oh yeah, it's a bonus round. I should probably actually be using the ice spell still. No, I'm out of mana. And I'm probably about out of time now. How long does this last? Generosity. Um, this is fair, right? What level am I? 33. Perfect. Um, so I have three skill points. Oh yeah, I need this for the prerequisite. All right. I need to buy another skill cancel still. <laughs> but like, leveling up! Okay, so we can fight Anemone at least. Uh, ice is exactly what I want. Oh, you? This could go poorly.
Alright, so as long as I cast a spell every three seconds, I uh, don't take very much damage. Oh yeah, plus the armor itself gives, like, resist, even when I'm not casting stuff. I love that we're now past times that people could have beaten the game in. Not me. But, um... You could watch a speedrun of all the story in less time than this arena has taken. So I guess the last difficult achievement left for me is, um... Glimnia mode. Maybe the Holy Diver armor will help me out. I'm, I'm sure it has a different bonus on each character. I hope you don't have to unlock it on a per-character basis. So it turns out that uh, not losing all my mana whenever I get hit is pretty convenient. <laughs> I'm liking the uh, actually have resist strategy rather than the tank everything with my mana bar strategy. Also, uh, True Anemone seems to just not go into the phases where she hides and- or not True, just normal Anemone, um, hides and you need to kill the normal enemies. So that was nice. Also, she didn't have the healing crystals. Uh, hmm. We'll get increased mana regeneration, sure. And you have skill cancels. All right, <laughs> the game continues. <laughs> All right, who have we got? Was that Eye of Alagath and R Ragano the Assassin? I I'm not confident I know the Assassin's name, but uh, they're dead. Dead the Assassin. Oh, this would actually be a way to tell what difficulty I'm on, because, um, the number of shields that Eye of Alagath gets whenever she shields up is difficulty dependent. Was that two? I think this is hard mode. No, that's four. That would be God Slayer, I think. Or is it four on hard? I think it's one on normal, at least, so we're not on normal. Or maybe only I have Morgato has that changed based on difficulty? I don't know. And <laughs> I've never played on Veteran. They give you a lot of time for this battle. I do appreciate that it wasn't like, I have Alagath and Abigail. The two Hallow bosses. That would probably have been run ending. Can I see what my buffed magic and resistance? No, I don't. I don't think this includes the status buff from casting a spell. Oh, I was silenced. I was trying to charge mana. Wow, this is going fairly poorly. Uh, your position in the room is a little inconvenient when you're doing that. It's like this healing thing she activates and... Oh, I might lose here. Uh, you need to, like, keep hitting her so that the blue bar doesn't fill up. And, um... Oh yeah, I have potions. It's not over. But it kind of is over. I wonder if, like, I have... Alagath has been getting faster as I've done damage or something. Or if I'm just, like, getting tired and... <laughs> Plus, there's this business. Can I actually prevent the thing when she's floating in the air like that? Because normally she's near the ground. Oh, I did prevent the thing. 
What magic do I have set right now? <laughs> yeah, I, I need to poison her. The fight's just not ending without poison. It's also not ending if she has attacks going on during that. I couldn't prevent the heal. No, I ran out of skill cancels. No. All right. Well, she's not regenerating. Yeah, getting frozen while that's going on is, uh, fairly inconvenient. Fight that would not end. <laughs> oh, uh, just kidding, it ended. With a B? Yeah. Well, that's moderately bad. Uh, I could have probably still bought something. Alright, who have we got? Oh. Oh, good. Um, actually, that's not bad. I don't think Anemone really comes off the floor that much. Yep. Uh, Okay, but she does shoot upward, and I'm burning, and it hurts. Oh. I'm almost willing to just lose. I got the achievement, I got the armor unlock. I'll have that on all save files from now on in case it wasn't clear what the exact benefit was. At least I'll Gilda save files. I'm not confident it affects the other characters. I think it will, though. Otherwise, there'd be four achievements. Or maybe not. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Not bad for a first run of arena mode, floor 33. So yeah, now just as a demo, if I start a new game on some difficulty, as a character, choose a save slot. Um, I should have chosen any character other than Gilda. We have the armor out here. And I have low int, so it's not very good. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna check another character. You save over that file. There's a different beginning cutscene. And falling great distances hurts. Okay, yeah, it's there for him too. I believe his primary attribute is strength. According to the holy diver anyway. I'm not certain. Anyway, that's it for this. Um <laughs> I'll just do an announcement video to say what's next. See ya!